just about to put a trade on, so sorry for pulling you away from the desk. Um, you've come all the way from Canada, right? I think you're our yeah, furthest right. uh, attendee. So far, what's, yeah. What's pulled you over? What made you do it? Well, I think uh, just learning uh, hands-on with everybody that's in the program, I think it would be a big asset, and it has been. But, uh, you know, it's given me a better understanding of all the trades. Um, you know, you always see them posted online, reverse vanilla, you know, tripod, etc., etc. And just being here and seeing firsthand from Cash and everybody else is... Uh, did you pick up a lot more solid knowledge, would you say, than you had already, or did you know it all already? I think what it's done is it's given me the confidence to participate in, uh, in a lot more of those trades. Right, and, uh, good point. You know, I, I watched you know, a lot of 20 pip trades you know, pass by because I didn't understand it. And now, <clears throat> having done the training, I think I'm a, a lot more confident that I'll definitely be you know, jumping in most of them, maybe not all of them, but... Uh, so you'll be doing like... He's going to explain in a minute the full cycle of, you know, you're not going to rule out doing reverse vanillas, you're not going to rule out doing vanillas, you're going to try and do the whole lot. Yeah, I mean, I think there's certain reverse vanillas that I won't do. Um, you know, we talked about that this morning, but uh, yeah, definitely I'd feel comfortable uh, with everything except maybe some of the shorter term uh, tripod trades, with the, the 15 minute one. The success rate, if Cash's success rate is lower, then mine is definitely going to be lower right, than his. Right, so. right. Um, his high percentage ones definitely anything over eighty percent that he's striking, I would be more than confident to. Uh, Which one do you find the easiest to follow? Uh, right now, well, after the course, or well, be what were you doing before the course, and have most, you made any changes since? Mostly just vanilla trades, and then the odd bounce trade, and I like the sixty sixty trades. Uh, but now, you know, I think there's a lot more uh, options. How many hours a day do you, do you spend at this? Uh, lately, uh, quite a bit, you know, six to eight hours a day. Always on the chat room? Yeah, yeah, I'm always logged into the chat room, you know, I, I've been trying to get up earlier and earlier, because we're five hour time difference. So you're doing the New York session? I try to get up and get part of the London session. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, so there's I, commitment. <laughs> yeah, well, there's more moves I find that day, and I like to be done by lunch, so I do other stuff in the afternoon. What do you do? I'm a builder, was a builder. <laughs> It's pretty slow right now. Right. So. And do you see yourself trying to do building and foreign exchange? I or think so, yeah. yeah. You're not ready to no, I'm not ready shut to the building in yet? No. I mean, it's slow. You know, this is a perfect time to pick it up. You know, things are slower right now. It's winter for us, so we're generally slow anyway. So. And the housing market there presumably is the same as everywhere else. Yeah, and you know, we're doing higher end homes, so that market right. is dead. So. Right. Yeah, it's just. So you're sort of funding yourself a little bit with forex while you're waiting exactly, for yeah. the big houses to get back in demand. Yeah, and who knows? You know, if things take off, you never know. I mean, this could lead to a full time thing, but. Uh, right. Excellent. I'm not quitting my day job yet. So. And I understand you're going off skiing after this course. Yeah, four o'clock <laughs> I have to leave. So. <laughs> I wanted anyway. to make enough tips to pay for my <laughs> trip. But. To pay for the Apres ski. That's right. All right, Kevin. Pleasure Thanks to meet you, mate. Much. Have a nice weekend. Yeah. Cheers.